One of the beautiful things about life is like sometimes you're going through something and you see or hear or even both the exact thing that you need to see. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I am super, super, super grateful. Um, because I love you guys. Like if you're not yet, follow me on Twitter at The Rewired Soul. You guys send me video suggestions and topics all day and like usually i'm like okay yeah i'll check it out and i try to see if like it'll fit in but i also you know part of what i try to do with my channels like i try to make something that i feel like making that day you know what i mean like i just kind of do what i want to do it's my channel you know and you know just now not well about 30 minutes ago someone sent me a video and they said talk about cal out cal L. And I'm like, who the heck is that, right? But anyways, hold on. I promise to give this person a shout out, but I need my phone. Well, when I got my phone, I actually got two tweets. So one of them was at badimsum. Am I even saying that? Oh, <laughs> at bad dim sum. <laughs> oh, Chris. And then the other one is Raffle Sir. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, both of them suggested I, I watch uh, this Cal L video. And so I'm like, okay, cool. My son and I just got home. I was about to make him dinner. And yeah, Cal L, I don't, I don't know her. I've literally never seen any of her content. And she has like 1.9 million subscribers. So Cal L, if you see this, you go, girl. Um, but anyways, her video is titled like, I gained 15 pounds in a month. So I started watching it. And yeah, it seems I'm not a I'm not here to diagnose anybody, you know, that's not what I do. But she she says she's been feeling depressed and this is one of the symptoms of depression is excessive weight loss or excessive weight gain, all right? And I was like, "Huh." But then like I went to go check out some more of her stuff and she had another video posted not too long ago that said why I'm sad, and I started watching that. And she started talking about the comments getting to her and stuff. And I'm like, holy crap. So thank you, Bad Dim Sum and Raffle Sir. Um, I really needed to see this today. So you guys know what I do here. I use a YouTuber that you're familiar with to give you context. And then I try to teach you some stuff. So I'm going to be talking about myself. But man, like what I'm trying to teach you guys to do is to take what you're watching and see if you can relate. And, you know, I guess the first thing that I'll say is, one of the best things that helps people who are struggling with, you know, just feeling not great, whether it's depression, anxiety, trauma, whatever it is, is not feeling alone. And today was a really messed up day for me. Um, and you guys who tweeted this at me, you helped me because I watched Cal Kal-El's video. I'm like, dang, like I can relate. And it really helped me out. So thank you to uh, kal -El, if you ever see this video, thank you for getting on camera, getting vulnerable and sharing this. But yeah, I just want to talk to you about my day. So some of you who know, like I've had some stuff going on, right? People calling me out and things like that. And it's, it's rough because I'm the mental health guy, right? And I'm trying to teach you how to improve your mental health. But like, I never want to make any of you think that my life is perfect and I've figured everything out, you know? I try to teach you what I've learned and go from there, you know? But I never wanna give you the impression that my life is either A, perfect, or B, that I know everything. But today was rough. And I actually, I actually vented to Tristan and God, let me tell you, I love that girl. I love that girl so much. Um, I just, you know, we sat down and I just, I just said, hey, sorry, I got a vent. I need to process some things. And she just sat there and listened, and that's one of the best things. Tristan asked me earlier today, um, we were talking about 12-step meetings. So as those of you who don't know, I got clean through 12-step meetings. And she was asking me, like, do you still practice what you learned in those meetings? And I said, okay, like, you want an answer? And, like, I don't know. Tristan and I haven't had, like, a deep conversation like that in, you know, in a little while. But... Basically what I was telling her is yes, 
yes, I do to the best of my ability. When I go into the shower, that's my that's my meditation time, prayer time, whatever you want to call it. That's my quiet time where I check in with myself and I check in with my motives. What am I doing? What am I doing? Because you guys, like, I was a garbage human being for almost a decade in my drug addiction. I was so selfish. I was so self-centered. Everything was about me. I was constantly using people to get what I wanted, what I needed. Screw your feelings. It's all about me, right? One of the reasons I talk about selfishness and self-centeredness so much on my channel is because that was destroying my life. And then when you pile on top of that, my pride and my ego. So I was explaining to Tristan, yes, whenever I take a, a, a shower and I get quiet, I ask myself and I set my intentions today and the, for the day, I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing today? Why am I doing it? What are my motives? And I am just now, it is just now hitting me right now that I'm at 92,000 subscribers. Like I am a workhorse, you guys know that. I work and work and work and work. And it's like, help people, help people, help people, help more people, help more people. And then like, as I get closer, I'm like, oh crap, I'm almost at 100,000. Cool, only 8,000 more, Chris. All you need is 8,000 more, Chris. And the last day or two, it's really just poof, hit me like, Chris, you're at almost 100,000 subscribers. This week alone, I've had two people out in public. I don't go out too much here in Vegas. And two people in public recognize me, right? And it's really hitting me that how big this channel's getting, right? And I'm starting to reflect. And even though I make videos, you know, using YouTubers for context and things like that, I'm really starting to feel what they feel. And it's making more sense to me. It's reminding me it's reminding me of my second year sober right first year i thought was rough second year was way harder than my first year because things are really hitting you and i, I thought the hard part was growing this channel but now what i'm noticing is is what youtubers talk about what kal -El talked about kal -El talked about in her video about why she's sad is just people say the most brutal things online who don't even you know know you or anything like that and I get a lot of people assuming my intentions. And that's, that's my issue. My issue is, like, I was just, I was actually going to make a video about Anna Akana because she made a video about self-love and I really wanted to do that, to do kind of a positive video. But you guys who tweeted that, um, this kal -El video, I'm like, no, I can relate way too much to this. But um, I forgot where I was going with that. And sorry, this is unedited. I'm just trying to get these thoughts off my head so you guys have a better understanding um of what's going on and oh oh but anyways one of my biggest fears is that people might be right and that's something that anna akana actually talks about when we have negative self-talk like let like check this out the worst comments on earth that i get my brain tells me so much worse my brain tells me chris you're a fraud you're a fake chris your motives aren't good you aren't this right so i'm constantly checking in with myself because I know for me personally, what will take me back to the terrible person that I used to be is if I stray off the path, right? If I start making YouTube about money, if I start making YouTube about popularity and stuff, if, if this channel turns into not trying to reach as many people as possible by helping them, I can turn into a terrible, terrible human being, right? So when I see these comments, and as much as I preach, don't care so much what people think, as I get bigger, it gets harder. I was telling Tristan this morning, <laughs> it's kind of like going to the gym, which I've been doing. I haven't been getting back into weights because my shoulders get messed up. But anyways, I was telling her, it's kind of like when you're maxing out at the gym, right? First you get on, you're like, okay, I can do this, right? And then you put on more weight. You're like, okay, that's not too hard. You put more weight, more weight. And then like, it gets harder, but you're like feeling like, kind of like a badass. You're like, yeah, I could do this. And then it gets to a point where it is just too heavy. And you're like, ah, oh, I can't do this, right? And you reach your max. And today I felt like I reached a breaking point because as a lot of you know, I try to reply and read all of your comments. And a lot of people have said, oh, Chris, that's not sustainable. That's not sustainable. I'm like, watch me. I'm going to be different. I'm going to be the YouTuber where no matter how big I get, I'm just going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, right? And today, 
that breaking point hit. So when you combine, you know, people making videos about me, questioning my motives, questioning my intentions, then you get a mob of people coming in. And the thing is, is I understand how my brain works. I understand how the brain works. You might be able to relate to what I'm saying. Kal-El might be able to relate to what I'm saying, okay? Our brain has a negative bias. Our brain is, is designed to focus on the negative. I have so many of you who, who tell me how much I'm helping you. I even included it in my Primink response video, right? I talked about how many of you tell me that I'm helping you, but my brain will just hyper focus on the people who think they know my motives, who think they know my intentions, right? And then I feel like I gotta defend myself and my brain has just been a mess. And I can relate to what kal -El's talking about because in case you didn't notice, you know, um, something that I'm dealing with that I mentioned in a video the other day is that although I'm going to the gym and eating healthier, I still have unhealthy eating habits. And kal -El is talking about how she's been turning to food for depression you know, I turn to food for a variety of emotions sometimes. Sometimes I'm able to avoid it and do something more productive, maybe make a video or journal or meditate, right? But sometimes, and I don't know if you can relate to this, I get a case of the efforts, right? Gotta get this video monetized, so we'll call it the case of the efforts. And I'm like, screw it, screw it, you know what? I'm just gonna go by the gas station, get some donuts, you know? And then afterwards, I'm like, oh God, Chris, why did you do that? You know, when I'm trying so hard, and then it almost like negates, you know, the time I put into the gym. But anyways, anyways, you know, I am starting to realize that as my channel gets bigger, you know, I'm gonna change. I gotta, you know, I gotta work on myself and, the collabs that I'm doing in LA next week, I just got an idea today um, of how I'm gonna do it. I'll announce that on Sunday. And by the way, I'm gonna clickbait you on Sunday. I apologize in advance. <laughs> but I'm gonna explain how these collabs are gonna work. But I wanna turn this into a process of self-reflection and growth. And I have some really cool stuff planned. But anyways, I hope Kal-El, you know, she talks about in her new video about gaining 15 pounds, about how she'll get through it and things are gonna be better and, you know, and all that. And I, I really hope they do for her. And I hope you guys all realize whenever I talk about, you know, other YouTubers on my channel, I always hope for the best. I hope that was clear in my video about stop, uh, please stop shaming Trisha Paytas, you know? Um, because I, I, you know, I have a certain personality i come off tough i come off harsh you know but at the end of the day i really want people to do well and be happy and get better and stuff but anyways again we talk about the solution here so what am i doing what am i doing a few things i talked to tristan today about limiting how often i reply to comments and how often i check comments so all of you who have grown accustomed to me being really active in the comment section i'm going to try to wean back and this is for my mental health, you know? Um, like I said, it's not sustainable. And I love you guys, you know, interact with me on Twitter and things, but you know, my channel is almost at 100 freaking thousand subscribers and I'm, <laughs> I'm conceding that it is not sustainable. So that's one thing that I'm doing. The other thing that I'm doing, you know, is my normal routine of, you know, writing things down, really processing things, opening up to my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan. I've been talking to my friends a lot more. My mom is a great part of my support group. Tristan and I were talking about how big my channel's getting. And I had a channel when I first started this where none of my friends or family members would watch it. But now a lot of the people who love me the most are really getting into it. And I'm really grateful, I'm really fortunate for those people in my life. So if any of you are watching this, I appreciate you. So I'm using all of the tools. Like I try to give you guys a million tools because sometimes you just gotta keep trying. But I think the most important thing, not the most important, one of the most important things is, is that I'm actually in therapy now. And talk about timing too. I started therapy when things were going good. So now I have somebody there. And yes, I use better help therapy, all right? I have a licensed therapist. And today I was talking to her and um, 
I don't think until it was until today that I told her that I'm a YouTuber. So I told her about everything that's going on. I asked her her thoughts, you know, and opinions. I sent her a link to one of my videos. She actually told me to, um, to not respond to Prim Inc. And I was like, yo, Katrina, sorry. But I saw this after I responded to Prim Inc. <laughs> um, but anyways, therapy is important. And I hope more YouTubers are doing it and getting help. Like, it is one of the biggest suggestions I can, I can, you know, really give to people. I also, before I end this video, I want to shout out Megan Tonjes. I'm going to watch her video right now, too. She just made a video about um, her experience with therapy. She made a video not that long ago about her first therapy session. So this seems like a follow-up. So shout out to Megan Tonjes. Uh... Her and I have a little bit of a history. Go through my channel. You'll see where I made a public apology to Megan Thomas. Um, I'll tweet it out too, uh, just to let her know that I gave her a shout out in this. Her and I are cool now, but yeah. If you want a story about how I used to be an awful human being, watch my video about apologizing to Megan Thomas. If you want another story about how, like a lot of you ask me for more story time. Sorry this is getting a little rambly. Watch my video about me going after the weatherman, okay? I played that on a live stream a few months ago and people loved it, so go watch that. I, if you think I'm crazy now, check out some of that stuff. But anyways, my uh, all the best wishes to kal -El. Um If she does see this, if you wanna tweet it at her, go for it. Uh, I, I know that my platform's getting bigger and more YouTubers are gonna see this and I do need to keep that in mind more, but don't worry. Tough love, Chris, ain't going anywhere, all right? <laughs> but anyways, I really appreciate all of you for watching this long-ass video. Um, thanks again to Kal-El for opening up, getting vulnerable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start learning more from other YouTubers who have been through what I'm going through as I grow. And I even wanna, at some point, start like a YouTuber like support group, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people feel very isolated and alone. And I think, I think we all need to rely on each other, you know, you gotta, be around people who understand what you're going through. All right, but anyways, anyways, let me end this video again. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell because I make a ton of videos, have a lot of cool stuff and collabs coming up soon, so make sure notifications are on. Huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon. I, I legit love you guys because a lot of you, like you're purely only being a patron to support what I'm doing, and I really, really appreciate you, all right? But thank you all just for watching. You support me as well. I love you all. I'll see you soon.